The Secrets of Hampton Court Palace. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm here visiting Hampton Court. It's a famous palace that's over 500 years old. Heard about Henry VIII? Maybe like me, you're learning about the Tudors at school. Well, this massive palace was his actual home. My great-great-aunt used to live here. Don't believe me? Well, a lot of palaces like Hampton Court weren't just homes to kings and queens. If the monarch wanted to thank someone for something they'd done, they might let them live here in grace and favour apartments, just like my great-great-aunt. She was a lady-in-waiting to a duchess. How cool is that? <coughs> this way, please. Stay together now. I'd better keep my voice down. Wow! I'm in the Great Hall. The walls are covered in amazing tapestries. Pictures that are woven into material. Seems like royalty in the olden days liked to decorate their houses to show off. Just like we do. Just their houses were a little bit... more enormous. These tapestries are known as the Abraham Tapestries. They show the story of Abraham from the Bible. They're made from wool, silk and gold and silver thread. I didn't even know that was a thing. Whoa! Where's everyone gone? The furniture's changed. Did you ever get the feeling you might have accidentally gone back in time? Nice! Oops, someone's coming! Who was that? Looks like a nobleman. I better bow. Noblemen love all that. Aha, uh -huh. one of King Henry's squires, I expect. Hmm, answer me, boy. That's me, squire to the king. Pretty sure squire's a good thing. I thought as much. Evidently, the king has seen fit to clothe you unusually. Such fancy footwear. A fashion from France, is it? Uh, no, my trainers are from Adidas. Adidas? I must say, even though I am an ambassador, I cannot claim to know the court of Adidas. <laughs> but the king does like to be fashionable. The ladies in my court love to hear of his silks and satins, sourced from distant and exotic shores. He sets the trends for the whole of Europe. Big puffy shorts and tights? <clears throat> I mean, hose. I suppose fashion can be a bit weird, even where I come from. What is strange about the hose? They show his fine muscles and the gleaming golden thread and silks in his doublet. Well, no man in Europe could be considered more of a man, and a man of power and wealth at that. Yeah, where I come from, people wear designer clothes if they want to show off. It's not showing off. Well, it is. But when other men follow your lead, even in the thread that covers their backs, there is no doubt who is in charge. Kind of like a mega influencer. Wow, the tapestries look like new, hanging exactly where they were before. Before? But these are new, a fine new acquisition. I just meant, um, the last time I visited. They look so bright and colourful. And the gold in them sparkles. Almost a bit too much. I feel like I should have brought my sunglasses. Oh yes, my boy. They are some of the grandest ever made and they were very expensive. As much as a warship. Bit more blingy than my aunt's house and she gets her kitchen done every year. I guess the king must like somewhere fancy to have his meals. Like she does. Oh, this isn't for his benefit. You must know that it is the court and the king's guest who dine here. These tapestries leave us in no doubt that we're in the most exclusive, more luxurious palace in the whole land and beyond. Staying here must be like visiting a five-star hotel. You'd feel like a celebrity, especially as the king would have paid for it all. He'd make even a millionaire feel poor. What else would you expect a monarch to do? Henry VIII does not do things by the half measure. The strength of the country is infused in these palace walls and the tapestries. The king sees himself chosen by God, just like Abraham was. Yeah, I get it. It's not just somewhere to live. It's like the palace is the king. He seems pretty generous to all his guests. Must have been amazing to be invited to court here. It's not just the goodness of his heart, although of course he enjoys the feast and good company as much as any righteous man. But imagine me, ambassador for Spain, traveling many days to see your king. If I came here and saw, what, 
tatter hangings and was served anything other than the best delicacies, well, I'll have plenty to tell in the Spanish court, and trust me, it would not be good. War would be that his powers were, let's say, diminished. And the king isn't going to like anyone talking about him like that. It's not like he can get on Twitter and put them straight. They have to get the message right here and right now. And now I must be on my way. I meet the king at noon and I too must look my very best. I have my own position to protect. Adios, young squire. Oh, thank goodness. Back in the present. It's funny, with Henry VIII, the first thing I think about is his six wives and all the beheadings. But everything about him is in this palace. He wanted people to know that he was the big deal. Very, very wealthy and powerful because he is the head of the church and chosen by God himself, like Abraham. That's why Abraham is on the tapestries, still hanging here after over 500 years. Amazing! But then we're still talking about King Henry after all that time too. I reckon he'd like that. <laughs> The Secrets of Hampton Court Palace, with support from historic royal palaces. Find out more at funkidslive.com forward slash palace. <laughs>